Hello, welcome to Great Teaching Monk program. In this video, we will learn the basic knowledge about Buddhism. Well, Buddhism is a way of life or an attitude. The word religion actually means the belief in a god or gods, and the activity that are connected with these beliefs such as prayer or worship in a church or in temple. But Buddhism does not teach to believe in a god or creator. As a matter of fact, a lot of gods and goddesses are frequently mentioned in Buddhism, but Buddhists are not encouraged or taught to worship them. A true Buddhist believes in the teachings of Buddha, which are known as the Dharma. He taught the way of self-reliance. One is one's own refuge. Buddhism rests on scientific investigation, on logic, and on reason. It encourages the question's mind. It encourages human beings to seek an ultimate truth so that they will gain wisdom. Through wisdom, they will reach nirvana or the liberation, which is the ultimate goal of Buddhism. By their own efforts, alone without relying on any external agency, this clearly indicates that Buddhism believes in the potential of human beings. Not exactly. In Buddhism, Nirvana is Nibbana in Pali, refers to the extinction of defilements, which are greed, anger, and delusion. Anyone who is able to make their defilements extinct themselves from the cycle of existence, that is, they will never be reborn again. They will never again have to undergo suffering. The question is, how can we get rid of our defilements? The only method available is through mental development or meditation practice. Actually, the only way to achieve the extinction of defilement is wisdom. And wisdom is achieved primarily through meditation. Yes, meditation is the means to attain nirvana. So, the goal in Buddhism is the attainment of nirvana. However, Buddhism offers two levels of goal. The first level is the goal of happiness and the good fortune in this life and the next. The second is the goal of nirvana or liberation. This is the ultimate goal. Meditation is beneficial to anyone since it is the best way to discipline the mind, to prevent the mind from being distracted and to strengthen the mind as well. Buddha said that, the mind is the source of all mental states, of all virtues and qualities. In order to attain these virtues and qualities, we must discipline the mind. In order to live a good and happy life, we must practice meditation. As for how to meditate, please check our video, Quick Guide to Meditation, in YouTube or Facebook. Good luck with your practice, everyone. Thank you for watching Great Teaching Monk program. See you again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share.